There are plenty of visible signs of how Russia's business world has been transformed by the invasion of Ukraine and the sanctions that followed. Stores belonging to the Spanish clothing brand Zara are to reopen in June as MAG, owned by a firm registered in a UAE free zone. <laughs> IKEA has packed up its flat-packed furniture and left the Russian market. Belarus's Swede is filling the gap. But there's a deeper problem that new signage can't address. These reopened businesses need staff. Taking into account the historically minimal unemployment rate of 3.5 percent in the country, there are simply not enough workers in many areas. Russia's government says the economy is short of 600,000 workers. That's partly caused by the nation's mass mobilization last year that affected hundreds of thousands of people and forced nearly a million to flee abroad. So training at technical colleges like this one in Moscow is all the more necessary. All our programs are in demand. For example, for design, we have a competition of about 22 people per place. Every block is in demand. 16-year-old Dmitry Kochev is a civil engineering student. Even though he's in his first year of a three-year program, he's got big plans for his future. I chose this speciality because I wanted to be a builder and I like working with my hands. After training, I plan to go to work on site and earn money to open my own business later. About 40 percent of Russians are employed by the state, state-owned companies or private companies whose owners have close government ties, making them a natural destination for these students since the state is paying for their entire education. There's already a huge demand for these students, even before they finish their degrees. Given the economic isolation facing Russia by Western powers, investing in these teenagers' future is a secure bet the country can minimize the impact of that isolation. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Moscow.